There is a fascination these days with the old money aesthetic. I'm not sure where it has come from, but I happen to be re-watching The Talented Mr. Ripley, a movie I really think I only half understood when I watched it all those years ago. It's not only a great movie starring Matt Damon, but also Jude Law as Dickie Greenleaf, who absolutely personifies old money style with effortless elegance. The movie is set in 1950s Amalfi Coast, where rich American jet setters went to play, so it has a light, breezy, carefree and accompanying wardrobe. That is, of course, until the treachery and murder begins. It strikes me watching all those locations and costumes that old money style is not just about the simplicity, quality and fit of the clothes, but also having the right pieces for the right event. Whether at the beach or at the jazz club, Dickie has just the perfect shirt or suit to wear. So let's take a look at three of Dickie's outfits and show perfect examples of old money style at work. Dickie wears a classic old money combination here. It may be old money, but it's also just timeless and doesn't look dated or even more importantly, that you'd be trying too hard to look like old money. It's neat and clean and shows great taste, but does not shout. He has on a black short sleeved, either light cotton or linen shirt with several buttons undone, white chinos and white loafers. The white loafers work well with the white pants and the light breezy attitude is suited to the Oceanside location. But he's carrying a linen sports coat and later he dons it as they walk about the busy town. It's a beautiful stubby linen in other words, it has lots of nodules created by the loosely woven linen to give it texture and add to the casualness of the jacket. He also does up a couple of buttons so he looks a little less slipshod as he wants to smarten up slightly for his stroll around town with Tom. It's an easygoing, adaptable wardrobe which is fit for purpose. Later in a jazz club, Dickie is dressed in a beige suit with notch lapels. Notch lapels are a triangular cut in the lapel and considered more casual and less showy than peaked lapels, which are fairly self-explanatory. The suit appears to be made of cotton, which is also a good hot weather suit fabric, and the light colour works well in the seaside town, especially when matched with a white shirt. He has on a narrow striped necktie, which is quite bold but is loosely tied around his neck. But in a nice stylish note, his shirt has French cuffs with simple gold cufflinks which match his pinky ring. Understated classy accessories are a nice touch and a key element of old money style. And of course we cannot mention the excellent pork pie hat, a jazz staple. And finally, to show the versatility of a well-chosen wardrobe without having too many pieces, Dickie wears a fine linen white shirt aboard his yacht with a pair of light blue shorts. His personal sunglasses are another expensive accessory, yet he's not overdressed or trying too hard to look like a sailor. He just has a great sense of wearing the right clothing at the right moment. And not trying too hard is a great characteristic to bring to whatever wardrobe you decide to wear.